Thank you. <laughs> How's everyone today? Great. Good. Good. Okay, so everyone in this class at one point in time had taken a standardized test back in elementary school or in middle school. These standardized tests can be either a benchmark or a PSSA. These tests are used to measure students' academic progress and their achievements throughout the school year. And it's also to <coughs> um, the teacher's ability to how well they can teach the students in the class to see what they know and to see how, um, <clears throat> to see what they learn. But with standardized tests is that there's been affected, students have been affected by standardized tests because it's very stressful for them. It is very important for parents, guardians, and family members to understand that tests have negative effects. Standardized tests have been given students depression, anxiety, and they give them a lot of, um, negative physical and emotional side effects. <clears throat> After doing a lot of research on this important issue, I've learned so much about the effects that standardized tests have has on students. I hope that after today's speech that you guys are willing to help any young child, sibling, young cousin, uh, whatever you guys have a niece or a nephew, help them on their next test. The next time your child or cousin has a test coming up, you'll know how to prepare for them. You'll know how to prep them for their test and to help them calm down and relax. In just a short moment, we will go over standardized tests and how they affect third graders, elementary school to middle school, eighth grade. Also, we will look into how we can help make a difference, how we can prepare for them, how they can relieve stress and anxiety. To get started, let's look where standardized tests came from. Standardized testing has been around since the 1920s. The idea of standardized testing came about 1845 by an educational um, pioneer named Horace Mann. He believed that children should be able to show their achievements through written tests. Testing is a sure way to see who knows more and who doesn't. How does standardized testing affect children? Freelance writer and editor, Livia Jerst Chan, May 12, 2015, answered, testing is a way to place clever young men into the workforce for rich kids to easily get into the schools. Lastly, children who grow up in different backgrounds, which can affect their test scores because of malnutrition, difference in resources, and rough childhoods. In this country, there's a lot of parents that are very concerned with standardized testing. Parents can see that these tests causes their children to develop anxiety while taking these tests. Children get so nervous that they go through physical and emotional <coughs> symptoms, such as headaches, vomiting, depression, and anxiety. Often during the testing sessions, children will start to self-doubt themselves, they lose confidence, and their self-esteem is very low. They start to question themselves whether or not they're smart enough, whether or not they can go on. This can be a huge problem because self-doubt during a big test for them can affect their test scores. This can be very stressful for the student to go through. This is also stressful for the parent because the parent wants to make sure that their, student, that their child is able to do what they're supposed to do in school. They don't want their child to be very nervous during the test. They want their child to do the best that they can. Harvard Graduate School of Education, Christina Simpson, May 2016, says, I quote, students tend to get more physical and emotional stress because of high state tests. A major issue with standardized testing is that children go from third grade through middle school. Feels like they have to compete. Some students feel like they're not smart enough to finish the test on time, so they rush while others start to give up because it's too difficult and stressful. Students start to lose hope and confidence in themselves. For instance, a PSSA test is an assessment and they have specific answers with every question. <clears throat> the problem with these tests is that certain students can't answer the questions 
the right way because it's very difficult for them, so they can't figure it out. So they're just on the same question for a long time. While the test um, asks for the same, que same questions for every test, unfortunately not every student can complete the work right away. And this is hard for them to do. A Harvard graduate, a Harvard graduate School of Education, Christina Simpson, May 2016, says, and I quote, <clears throat> most children are so nervous that they start to doubt themselves. This causes them to have depression and anxiety during the test. I remember when I was in third grade, up until 10th grade, that I had an IEP. An IEP is when a student needs more focus and attention during a specific topic, material, or class. This class helps students retain and keep information and material a lot longer. When I used to take these kind of tests, I never used to like them. I will always say that they were very difficult to comprehend, especially the math sections. The math sections was the hardest ones for me, and the science ones. Every time I felt like a student was almost done with his or her test, I would rush, because I would feel like I don't want to be the last one to finish my test. For myself not being able to catch up. I would feel like I wasn't smart enough, that the other kids are. I was more worried about finishing the test than actually trying to do my best. Lastly, what can schools do to improve standardized testing? Schools can start by allowing teachers to go over test preparations throughout the whole year. <coughs> they can start this a few months before the test, or they can start this weeks before the test so the students can retain the material a lot better. <coughs> schools should invest in more better resources, technology, so they can have a better chance at practicing. Another way schools can improve is requesting for a new test or making their own assessment test for different groups of students. To comprehend, <clears throat> writer and editor Brandon Busty of Education, March 6, 2018 says, and I quote, schools should have more alternatives when it comes to assessment testing. Parents, guardians, teachers, and even the audience can help to make a big difference in the student's life. If your child is, is if your child, younger sibling, cousin, niece, or nephew, or even the neighbor that you know, and they have a test coming up, you should take the time and help them prepare for it, as it can be very stressful for them. Make sure that they have all the supplies, books, and folders that they need to complete the practice. Be patient with them and guide them along. Give them positive self-talk. Tell them to make sure they eat a healthy breakfast before the test and make sure they get a good night's sleep before the test too. Keep reassuring them that it's okay to get stuck on a question, that you don't have to rush because other people are rushing, so just do your best. Try to remember to do your best. All of the ideas can lower depression, test anxiety, and boost their confidence. Writer Corlin Colorado, 2008, says, I quote, with your support and involvement, children will become more successful and they'll be on the path to a brighter future. Finally, standardized tests have been around for a while, made to measure academic process, progress in students. On the other hand, students have been struggling on these tests because they're very stressful and they cause anxiety. Learning how to help students physically and emotionally before a test can help them a little bit more. Every child is bright, every child is intelligent, every child is strong in their own way. They are <clears throat> capable of doing amazing things for themselves. All they have to do is believe in themselves, get the help they need, practice, and remain confident. Thank you for listening.